Welcome to my 8th class on complex variable 1. In this lecture video, we'll be discussing a few more problems on type 1, type 2, type 3 and type 4. Problem number 1. Show that f of z is equal to e power x cos y plus i sin y is holomorphic. This holomorphic is nothing but and the function has to be proven like it's an analytic function. They have given that f of z is equal to e power x into cos y plus i sin y. The first thing is I am taking e power x into the bracket and I am replacing the function f of z as a complex variable that is u plus iv. So I got u plus iv is equal to e power x cos y plus i into e power x sin y. So now I am separating the u and v. So I got u is equal to e power x cos y and v is equal to e power x sin y. So differentiating u and v with respect to x partially treating y constant i got a uh, dou u by dou x is equal to uh, key, uh, keeping cos y as it is differentiating e power x i got e power x itself similarly differentiating v with respect to x i got dou v by dou x is equal to keeping sin y as it is differentiating e power x i got e power x similarly differentiating u and v partially with respect to y treating x constant so i will get dou u by dou y is equal to keeping e power x as it is cos y will become minus sin y dou v by dou y will be equal to keeping e power x as it is sin y will become cos y so i got ux is equal to e power x cos y and vx is equal to e power x sin y uy is equal to minus e power x sin y vy is equal to e power x cos y so we can say that this ux is exactly equal to vy and vx is equal to minus times of uy so this is a required condition for cr equations that is ux is equal to vy and vx is equal to minus uy so it implies cr equations are satisfied so once the cr equations are satisfied we can say the function f of z is an holomorphic function or regular function or it's an analytic function so i got f of z is equal to e power x into cos y plus i sin y is holomorphic problem number two show that f of z is equal to z power n where n is a positive integer is analytic and hence find f dash of z so since the function having f of z is equal to z power n so if i take z is equal to in the cartesian form x plus i y so i'll get x plus i whole power n the function will become very complicated and i can't find the u and v easily so for that purpose i'm going to replace this complex number as in in terms of polar form that i will be replacing z is equal to r into e power i theta for this problem So I got uh, f of z is equal to z power n. Since f of z is a complex variable, I can replace it as u plus iv. And I'm putting z is equal to r into e power i theta in terms of polar form. So I got u plus iv is equal to r into e power i theta whole power n. So on expanding this, I got r power n e power i n theta. And we know how to expand e power i n theta. It is given by cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So I got r power n cos n theta plus i sin n theta. So taking r power n inside the bracket, I got r power n cos n theta plus i into r power n sin n theta. So I got finally u plus i v is equal to r power n cos n theta plus i into r, r power n sin n theta. So now uh, equating uh, the equations uh, both uh, LHS and RHS, I can take u is equal to r power n cos n theta and v is equal to r power n sin n theta. Now, we have to check for the CR equation for that purpose. I'm going to differentiate the uh, equation uh, u and v with respect to r partially treating theta constant. So, differentiating u with respect to r partially. So, uh, I'll be getting dou, dou u by dou r. r power n will become n into r power n minus 1, keeping cos n theta as it is. Similarly, v will become dou v by dou r, uh, keeping sin n theta as it is, r power n will become n into r power n minus 1. So I got u r is equal to n into r power n minus 1 cos n theta and v r is equal to n into r power n minus 1 sin n theta. Similarly, differentiating u and v with respect to theta, treating r constant. So dou u by dou theta is equal to keeping r power n as it is, cos n theta is minus n sin n theta and dou v by dou theta is equal to keeping r power n as it is, sin n theta will become n cos n theta. So I got the expression like, uh, u theta is equal to 
minus n r power n sin n theta and b theta is equal to n r power n cos n theta. So I can simplify this uh, u r as n by r r power n cos n theta. So I am writing, I am just rewriting r power n minus 1 as r power n by r. Same thing here also. So I got the expression u r is equal to n by r r power n cos n theta. v r is equal to n by r r power n sin n theta. So I will be getting r u r is equal to n r power n cos n theta r v r is equal to n r power n sin n theta and also we have u theta is equal to minus r power n sin n theta and v theta is equal to n r power n cos n theta. So from these two equations I can take r u r is equal to v theta and from these two I can say r v r is equal to minus u theta. This is required a condition for to satisfy CR equations in terms of polar form, I can say CR equations are satisfied. It implies the function f of z is equal to analytic. Now I am going to find f dash of z with the help of ur and vr. So f dash of z is given by e power minus i theta ur plus vr. So I am keeping e power minus i theta as it is in the place of ur I am putting n r power n minus 1 cos n theta. In the place of vr I am putting uh, n r power n minus 1 sin n theta. So I got e power minus i theta n r power n minus 1 cos n theta plus i into n r power n minus 1 sin n theta. I can take n r power n minus 1 common factor. I got e power minus i theta into n r power n minus 1 cos n theta plus i sin n theta. This cos n theta plus i sin n theta can be put like e power i n theta so i got n r power n minus 1 e power i of n minus 1 theta so i got n into r power n minus 1 e power i theta whole power n minus 1 i can write since your powers are same i can combine these two so i can write like n into r power r into e power i theta whole power n and this is nothing but a z right so i can put this as z here so i got n into z power n minus 1 so since they have given the function f of that is z power n so like after differentiation we will be getting n z power n minus 1 the same value we got here also next problem show that f of z is equal to r plus k square by r cos theta plus i into r minus k square by r sin theta for r is not equal to 0 is regular function of type z is equal to r into e power i theta and hence find f dash of z so this sum also like same like previous problem only the first i'm going to find uh, uh the value of u and v later i'm going to find i'm going to find the value of f dash of z so given f of z is equal to r plus k square by r cos theta plus i into r minus k square by r sin theta so now i'm going to separate u and v here so since we have f of z is equal to u plus iv so i can take u is equal to r plus k square by r cos theta and v is equal to r minus k square by r sin theta so differentiating u and v with respect to our partially treating theta constant i got ur is equal to 1 minus k square by r square cos theta and vr will be equal to 1 plus k square by r square sin theta like how means differentiating r i got 1 uh, 1 by r will become minus 1 by r square same thing here also r will become 1 minus 1 by r is uh, it will become um, minus 1 by r it will become plus 1 by r square so uh, from this one I can I can take our common factor I'm taking to LHS I got r u r is equal to r plus k square by r cos theta from u r equation same thing you're also taking r common factor here I got r u r is equal to uh, r minus k square by r sin theta similarly differentiating u and v with respect to theta I got u theta is equal to keeping r plus k square by r as it is differentiating cos I got minus sin theta and same thing here also dou v by dou theta will become keeping r minus k square by r as it is sin theta will become cos theta so I got u theta is equal to minus of r, r plus k square by r sin theta v theta is equal to r minus k square by r cos theta now uh, so we, we can say that from this equation we can say that this r u r is equal to is equal to minus of u theta and this r v r will be equal to v theta one minute yeah uh, we got expression like now uh, from this expression we can say like r u r is equal to uh, r plus k square by r cos theta we got so these two equations are exactly same r u r is equal to we can write like uh, u theta and this r v r will be equal to v theta here so i got uh, the cr equations get satisfied here that is r u r is equal to v theta and r v r is equal to minus u theta we got it so hence we can say the cr equations are satisfied it implies w is analytic so now i'm going to find f dash of z to find f dash of z the formula is e power minus i theta into u r plus v r so it will become e power minus i theta into keeping u r as 1 minus k square by r cos theta and v r as 1 plus k square by r sin theta 
So I got e power minus i theta into 1 minus k square by r cos theta plus i into 1 plus k square by r sin theta. So it implies e power minus i theta into, so from this one expanding the equation. So 1 into cos cos theta i into 1 sin theta I am taking here minus k square by r cos theta again uh, taking negative common factor. So I got minus i sin theta. So it will become e power i theta it will become e power minus i theta here. So e power minus i theta, e power i theta minus k square by r square e power minus i theta. So now what we can do means I am going to combine, uh, I am going to take this e power minus i theta inside the bracket. I got e power minus i theta, e power i theta minus k square by r square e power minus 2 i theta. So it will become 1. So I got 1 minus k by r e power i theta whole square. Uh, I got f dash of z is equal to 1 by 1 minus k square by z square by replacing r e power i theta as z square as z so it will become k square by z square example number four given u is equal to x square plus 4x minus y square plus 2y as a as a real part of an analytical function find v and hence find f of z in terms of u they have given u function here so from this u function we are supposed to find the function v and also we have to find the value f of z so for this purpose I'm going to differentiate u equation with respect to x first. So differentiating u with respect to x partially treating by constant, I got 2u by 2x is equal to 2x square plus 4, it will become 0. Similarly, differentiating u with respect to y partially, I got 2u by 2y, this will become 0 minus 2y plus 2. So I got 2u, 2u by 2x as 2x plus 4, 2u by 2y as minus 2y plus 2. Uh, two. So since we have to find the value of v here, I am going to convert dou u by dou x, dou, dou u by dou y in terms of v function. So it will become dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y we can replace, dou u by dou x is equal to minus dou u by dou y we can replace. This is because of CR equations. So now I am replacing dou u by dou x as dou v by dou y, dou, v, uh, uh, dou u by dou y as my, uh, dou v by dou x. So I got dou v by dou x is equal to 2x plus 4, dou v by dou x is equal to 2y minus 2. So now differentiating dou v by dou y with respect to y, sorry, integrating dou v by dou y with respect to y, treating x constant, uh, integrating dou v by dou x with respect to x, treating y constant. So I got the expression like v is equal to integration of 2x plus 4 dy plus constant f of x. Again, this one, uh, v is equal to integration 2y minus 2 dx plus constant g of y. So after integration, so I got v is equal to 2x will become 2y. 4 will become 4y. So I got v is equal to 2x5 plus, plus 4y plus f of x. Here uh, 2yx minus 2x plus g of y. So now to find the value of this f of x and g of y, we have to compare the equation. So choose f of x from this equation, the term which is free from y variable. So I can choose f of x is equal to minus 2x because this term not having y variable. Similarly, to choose g of y, choose from this equation which is free from x variable. So I can choose g of y as 4y. So after replacing these two values in the v equation, the v equation will lead to the v equation will lead to what? Uh, 2xy plus 4y minus 2x will be getting. So once we got the value of v and u already we are having, I am going to use this equation. So f of z is equal to I got u plus iv. So uh, replacing u as x square plus 4x minus y square plus 2y plus i times of v is 2x y plus 4y minus 2x. So I am putting x is equal to z and y is equal to 0 here. So this, uh, this will become z square plus 4z minus 0 plus 0 plus 0 0 minus 2z. So I got the expression f of z is equal to z square plus 4z minus 2iz. Thank you.